Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Xiao Su with China's Xinhua News Agency. Here I have come to southwest China's Chongqing municipality, and this city is one of the first cities in China to open its public roads for the self-driving cabs and buses. That means the resident here can choose to have a cab that runs on its own. How cool is it? And what does science tech and policy support behind it? Join me today at the autopilot open test bay. Base in Yongchuan District in Chongqing to find it out. First of all, we are very pleased to invite Mr. Xiao from Yongchuan District Government, and he will tell us something about the Yongchuan District. So, hello, Mr. Xiao. Hello, Welcome. Xiao Say hello to our audiences. Okay. Hello, everyone. Okay. I know that Yongchuan has issued China's first uh, fully unmanned. Uh, Demonstration uh, operation qualification last year. So how has it going? Yeah, since Yongchuan has launched the fully autonomous operation in August last year, mm -hmm. we have been expanding the operation area and increasing the number of vehicles mm -hmm. to meet the needs of the citizens' travel. Mm -hmm. So far, everything running smoothly and safely, and we have received lots of positive feedback from the users. Okay. So what is the coverage? Uh, of the self-driving cars right now? Yeah, right now the fully autonomous operation area covers more than 30 square kilometers with more than 200 recommended boarding stations mm -hmm. covering key areas like scenic spots, mm -hmm. schools, mm -hmm. commercial areas, residential areas and the industrial parks. Mm -hmm. So what kind of the traffic data that the monitor and the management center in Yongchuan many monitor? Currently, uh, the area has more than 30 smart intersections mm -hmm. which can display real-time traffic information, mm -hmm. including vehicles, pedestrian, mm -hmm. non-motorized vehicles, mm -hmm. and other traffic in, at the intersection, mm -hmm. as well as any other traffic incidents that may have occurred. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. So what is the policy that the local government provided to advance the commercialization of the uh, auto autonomous driving? The government in Yongchuan is very supportive of the develop development of intelligent network connected vehicles. Mm -hmm. uh, Yongchuan has set up a team in this big data industrial park yeah. uh, for the policy driving area of mm -hmm. intelligent network connection. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks to the team's efforts, Two innovative management policies mm -hmm. are created here. One is for inter intelligent network connected vehicles, mm -hmm. and the other is for low speed self driving vehicles. Mm -hmm. This means that Yongchuan can now define area for testing, issue permits for testing and demonstrations, mm -hmm. and allow for full vehicle testing and demonstrations, and will soon support testing on a 38 kilometers highway. Wow, that's very good. So thank you very much for sharing so much information today. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Okay, next we will move to the traffic monitor and management center in Yongchuan district to find out how the self-driving cars and buses run in these regions. Okay, let's go. to the traffic monitor and management center in Yongchuan district, where the real-time traffic situation of all the self-driving cabs and buses can be monitored here. And the Yongchuan district and China's tech giant Baidu have jointly developed a smart transportation and self-driving bus system. For now, 30 rural taxis uh, have obtained the commercial um, self-driving permits within the region. So today we are very happy to invite Zhang Dan from Baidu and she will tell us something about the details of the platform. So Zhang Dan, hi. 
Hi, good morning. good morning. So first of all, we will take a look at the construction situation through the online platform. And in the area of 1,576 square kilometers of the whole Yongchun district, 1,385 kilometers of self-driving test road have been opened, mm -hmm. covering diverse application scenarios, including the mountain road scenarios, the expressway scenarios, mm -hmm. and also the urban business district scenarios, etc. Mm -hmm. And what's more, there are totally 30 smart intersections are laid out on the screen, mm -hmm. on the platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At present, smart intersections traffic light information can be used on the onboard map and the mobile phone map, which let citizens feel the city's intelligent welfare. So at the center of the screen is the comprehensive information display area of the project. You can see that the map has the English letter R here. R, yeah. Which what is... What R stand for? Yeah, it is stand for RICU. Wow. Yeah, so the RICU is the routinely mentioned roadside edge unit that is at the heart of the entire intersection. Mm -hmm. And with the addition of like a camera, gun camera, and the fish eye camera, LIDAR, or speed reader. And other sensors here from the roadside light pole, mm -hmm. the perceived information will be summarized into the computing unit here oh, okay. and distributed to the vehicle with the help of RICU, mm -hmm. which is also means the V2X. Mm -hmm. So by opening one of the intersection here, can we can have an overall view wow. of the intersection and can mm -hmm. monitor the potential risk. Mm -hmm. Smart cars plus intelligent roads offer us this real time yeah. and high precision and uh, holographic junction situation. Mm -hmm. What's more, it can support like relevant management uh, uh, department like the traffic management bureau. Mm -hmm. We can close this here. So the traffic incident sorting and the reporting showed at the bottom here. The intersection can perceive seven types of traffic incident, mm -hmm. including like speeding, speeding yeah. and also illegal occupation, mm -hmm. construction area, mm -hmm. accident vehicle, mm -hmm. traffic congestion, etc. Okay. And on the right side of the platform here, the operation data of self-driving vehicles are shown. At present, there are totally 52 autonomous vehicles in Yunchuan, mm -hmm. including Apollo Go Robotaxi and the self-driving bus, okay. which is 95% of autonomous vehicle fleet in Chongqing. Mm -hmm. And the test mileage has reached more than 1.8 million kilometers, mm -hmm. equivalent to more than 45 loops around the Earth. And uh, the cumulative test duration has exceeded 70,000 hours. Okay. Yeah. Until now, that is the general information of the whole platform. Okay. So what is the technology that Apollo Go relied on in actual operation? Uh, actually, the autonomous driving is the innovation that relies on the integration of various factors, mm -hmm. including the policy, the technology, and also like uh, products. And firstly, safety must be ensured yeah. from the bottom mm -hmm. subsystems mm -hmm. like uh, the basic uh, operating system, mm -hmm. the percep uh, perception yeah. system, and mm -hmm. also like uh, the decision making systems. Mm -hmm. And secondly, some technologies are crucial mm -hmm. and cannot have any weakness mm -hmm. like the uh, algorithm modules, mm -hmm. the AI infrastructure, and mm -hmm. as well as the high precision map, mm -hmm. etc. And uh, now Baidu has made layouts in all these areas and uh, has advantages in the technology. Okay. So how the residents can respond to the emergency situation when they travel by the self-driving Apollo Go? Yeah, the smart vehicles actually, it can slow down and stop at the roadside with the hazard light open. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, the, uh, they can call the command center 
to send like a ground handling to the mm -hmm. scene. Mm -hmm. what, what's more, the passengers, they can always get in touch with the customer service okay. via the SOS bottom mm -hmm. in the vehicle okay. to get emergency care. Okay, so it's been a while since I have heard about the autonomous driving, but I have a chance to uh, experience. Okay, so you got a chance today. We can have a try. Okay, I can't wait to experience it. Let's go. Okay. So we have come to the Apollo Go station. So John Dan, I'm wondering why we call the robot taxi Apollo Go? Yeah, it's a good question. Because uh, for autonomous driving, that we want to learn the spirit of the Apollo mission. Okay. And uh, we can climb the Mount Everest mm -hmm. successfully mm -hmm. to enter everyone's life, to let them uh, be used to use this new transportation mm -hmm. like uh, Apollo Go. Okay. Yeah, this kind of autonomous driving. Wow, that's very cool. So can you tell me how to uh, hail a taxi, how to order a robot taxi here? Yeah, we can uh, have a look here. So we can use like uh, different ways, including mm -hmm. the Baidu map mm -hmm. and also Apollo Go application and also this mini program on mm -hmm. WeChat. And, uh, Firstly, you have to finish the identity verification mm -hmm. and then you give us the pickup and the drop off station. Okay. And then you can just uh, order the, the uh, ask order. Yeah. So now actually we have already okay. finished the order. Let's okay. go. We can have a try. Okay. So you can see that our robot taxi are waiting for us. Yeah. So we have to hurry it up. How many minutes uh, it can wait for us? Yeah, we... it can wait like five minutes, five minutes. for okay. passengers to unlock the door. Okay. Yeah. You can see that this is totally driverless car. Wow. So we can see that there is really no driver. <laughs> <laughs> and here, because this is a totally unmanned driverless vehicle, so we have to unlock the door okay. by press your phone number, last four. Mm -hmm. And here is 4474. Four. And we can see so here. we can unlock the door? Yeah, wow. it works. So please. So we will get on the robot text to find more. Yeah. Okay. And before we start it, Mm -hmm. The passengers should uh, fasten the seatbelt first, and okay. then we can press the button to st to finally start okay. the journey. So. We have to fasten our seat belt before mm -hmm. the rubber taxi run. Yeah. So, so what here, should we do now? Yeah, we can just press the button here and okay. it works. Wow. Yeah, here it we go. Boat. Okay, yeah. it starts to run. Yeah. Wow, it's very cool. So we can see that there is no driver on the in the car and the steering wheel is working automatically. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. That's like a science fiction. Mm -hmm. So what's the average speed of the taxi? Until now, actually, uh, according to the traffic law and mm -hmm. the policy, the destinated speed is mm -hmm. no more than 
sixty kilometers an hour,、mm-hmm. and this is for the driverless vehicle.、Mm-hmm. Uh, if there is safety officers inside,、mm-hmm. the maximum, the speed is like no more than seventy kilometers an hour. Wow! Yeah. We can see that during the rush hour, yeah, the con- situation, traffic situation, is really complex. complex. Yeah. yeah. So there is、uh, cars and、uh, yeah, the, and the real, people, right? Yeah, the real situation is a lot of uh, uh, private cars. They may have you know to break the laws to press、mm-hmm. the line, but for autonomous driving vehicles, it will. Follow the traffic laws、mm-hmm. from the beginning to the end. Okay. So, can you give give me more information about the tablets? So, what the passenger can do、uh, when they are on the taxi? Yeah, we can see the the each M I screen here.、Mm-hmm. It is totally for passengers,、mm-hmm. and actually, it is also a custom menu. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can press the home here.、Mm-hmm. We can do、uh, choose like、uh, the music. Music. I so, want. So you can play music. Yeah. Wow. And also, I can choose like a temperature、mm-hmm. to be like cooler、mm-hmm. here. Yeah. And also, there is some like a chiller. I can choose. Wow. To have a like a general、uh, information for、mm-hmm. Apollo Go, how、mm-hmm. it works, and also back to the map, so we can see where we have. Yeah. Where where where, where we have been here.、Yeah. Basic information, including the speed. Ah,、uh, speed. Yeah. yeah. The length of our journey and how many minutes left here,、mm-hmm. and our destination. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So we have four minutes. Yeah. To arrive our destination. Yeah. Four minutes left. Okay. I feel that the taxi runs very smooth.、Mm-hmm. And before I get on the taxi, I feel a little nervous <laughs> because there is no driver.、Uh, but I feel very safe now.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, the autonomous vehicle is much safer than human drivers.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it will not break the traffic laws to、mm-hmm. press the lane to speeding or like illegal occupation.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, that will not happen. Yeah. So is it very expensive? Or how much is the ride? Actually, the base flight fare is two point six dollars. Well, we have a coupon for ninety percent off.、Mm-hmm. Therefore,、uh, like zero point four dollars would be enough for a ride, which is very friendly to citizens. Wow! So it's a very exciting journey、mm-hmm. today. Yeah. Okay, I know that、uh, many in- autonomous driving enterprises in China are promoting to build an、uh, industry chain to accelerate the mass production, and they also aims to、uh, they also aims to improve the traffic、mm-hmm. participation rate and public understanding and participation, and they want to help the autonomous driving. Uh, technology play a greater role in various scenarios.、Mm-hmm. So,、right. hopefully, this intelligent service can benefit more people、yeah. in the future. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's all for our today's live show. So, see you next time. <laughs>